everyone. Laura Longo here. How did everyone enjoy their holiday weekend? I still have this, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this like dark bar, I don't know. But show must go on. <laughs> so I uh, hope everyone had an awesome, awesome holiday weekend. I had a great weekend with my family um, and celebrating my, my son's fourth birthday, which we still have till next week for him to actually turn four. But I'll, I'll enjoy every moment of that <laughs> but we you know had to get that in while we can still have it at the pool and enjoy that whole fun they always have a great time having the parties there so uh, what we're going to talk about today is totally inspired by uh, some training in one of my mentor groups with Ray Higdon uh, today and it was really great stuff so I took some notes and I will we'll go through that with you what we're going to talk about today is your most valuable asset and when a lot of people think about what their most valuable asset is a lot of times people will think like a home or or some kind of object or or money but in actuality for most people our most valuable asset our most valuable commodity is time but yet so many people are using their time very haphazardly Right, which is why you know when we do a lot of our our trainings about prospecting or closing or marketing, a lot of times we we focus on the way, ways to do this to spend the least amount of time possible and to speedily collect a decision. And ultimately, you don't want to be spending a lot of time with a prospect. Period. Okay, you don't want to be spending a lot of time with a prospect. You don't want to be even once they join. You don't want to be spending a lot of your time with your 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 team, your people. And that that before you this sounds too harsh. I want you to like bear with me because you'll get the understanding in a few minutes. But if you find yourself spending a whole lot of time with your prospects and a whole lot of time with your new teammates, it's time to posture up and say, you know what? Here's where I'm going. If you want to come along with me, great. And if if not, that's cool too. Um, you know, just I'm not going to judge. Whatever. So you have it's time to be able to collect that decision quicker than spending a whole lot of time with someone. Um, when you're teaching how to to prospect or teaching how to close, you're not going to be creating presentations or teaching situations for every type of profession out there for every different possible situation that you can encounter um, there's a much smaller percent of a chance of a person having success when you spend a whole lot of time with them whether then whether then if you were to get that decision really quick okay and the reason for that is okay it's just like why is that right like the reason is because if you spend an hour on the phone with your prospects and it takes you two weeks to recruit Uncle Joe <laughs> or whatever it is, what is that prospect or what is that new teammate thinking? They think that it should take that long for them to go through the process. And ultimately, they're going to think, number one, I don't have the time for this. I can't do this and give up very quickly. Or they think, you know, I don't want to do this, <laughs> right? Um, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of fun when you have to spend so much time um, just getting to a decision point or whatever it is. So I'm not saying you don't spend time with your people, but what you do is when you have people, you spend very specific time with them. So you sign up a new teammate, you're thinking, oh my gosh, she's telling me not to spend time with them. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you're spending specific time with them. So you get on, um, you get on the phone with them and you set them on the path for the fast start training um, the business training that we have okay so you get on the phone you say you know how can I best help you what did what is your desire level what are your goals um, give them some homework and have them report back to you once they've completed that homework okay because the idea is to, to push the responsibility and the action back on them so what if someone were to ask you a bunch of training questions? How do you best leverage your time? How do you not get caught up in how to approach your warm market or, or what's the best way to post on Facebook? 
Um, how do you not get caught up in, the, in that is what you're doing when someone asks you a training question is pointing them to the training archives, you know, the business website or the business Facebook page or I utilize my blog. I will send people to my blog because I have a bunch of great trainings for a lot of the commonly asked questions for network marketers getting started. So I will utilize my blog as a training resource, okay? But other people, we have, you don't have to create that because other people have that created already and the company has that created already for the most part. So just say someone would ask you a question, on the, you're on the phone, someone asks you a question, and it's something I've never heard of before and I don't have a training archive you know on that and I don't know that it's available what I would say in that situation would be hey let's hang up the phone and I'll shoot a video and I'll shoot a video and I'll send you the video and why do I do that because if I sit and I spend the time to explain the answer then that's not duplicatable number one um, that's not leveraging my time and I value my time I'm like really really crazy when it comes to what I will spend time on okay when I have three kids and I, my, they are always my first priority and so I am very very crazy about how I will allow people to take my time okay and so what, what can you do you have this video now you can have tens of thousands of people watching instead of just one person watching and what happens then okay so you have this video that's available forever that when they are asked that question at some point you can say hey well when someone asked you that question then just point them to that same video right so you have this it's duplicatable but if you spend that time answering the question on the phone right then and there without creating a duplicable tool then you can't they can't rewind it they can't pause it they can't replay it later on when the question comes up again and they've forgotten and they've gone and recruited somebody and that person asks the same questions what are they going to do they're they, they're going to point them to you and now you've lost even more of your time <laughs> right and that's when you have a team of thousands of people there's no way <laughs> that you can that that that's possible to be able to do that for everybody right so what happens is when you when you free up your time you get to be a chooser of your time you get to select what you do with your time and that's ultimately what we're all after is the time freedom that this kind of a business will op will bring for us will will open up doors for us and oh there's a fee and I might scream okay I'm good <laughs> okay so don't allow people to dictate your time you would not be able to do this business <clears throat> if you had to spend an hour on the phone with every single person that you're prospecting and every single teammate because it's just not possible. I mean, think about it. A guru, a guru is not going to spend time, or people who are su super successful are not going to spend a whole lot of time on the phone with people. What are they going to do? They're going to point them to a tool. They're going to put them through the system because they know this. They know that their time is valuable. What it really comes down to is if you don't think like a business owner in the network marketing space, then you're not duplicating other people thinking like a business owner. Okay, it really is what it comes down to. It's, this business is about a business. It's not about mother henning someone or, or thinking that you're spending all this time with someone because you care. Because ultimately, if you really cared, if you really cared, it's not about mother henning. If you really cared, it's about setting that person up for success, okay? So, for example, just say you, you recruited uh, someone in your team who's like super busy. Um, maybe, maybe it's like a single mom of three kids and she works full time and she understands the value of residual income, wants to open up some doors for herself and you recruit her into the business and you really have a lot you want this person to succeed so badly like so many of us do when we bring people into our business and we a lot of times find ourselves wanting it even more for that person because we know what's possible and we've seen what's possible for so many people so we know that we have that level of belief that they might not have yet but so we want to be there for them we want to get on the phone with them non-stop we get on the phone with them non-stop and we answer every single question 
you decide to answer all those questions, you're spending a ton of time with that person, what does that single mom now think? She thinks that basically you're, you're actually doing, by doing that for her, you're actually doing her more harm than you are doing her good. And you, number one, she thinks that she has to spend all this time on the phone with someone, right? And that's not possible in her world, right? That's not possible. So that's not possible for that single mom, right? That's not possible for that single mom with three kids to be able to spend these hours and hours and hours on the, t on the phone training people or, or prospecting, okay? So, but if you say to her, hey, listen, you know, here's a system. When people ask you a question, you put, point them to the training archive. When people ask you a question, you or ask you more about the products, you plug them into our Facebook group and this is the system, this is the training, and let the system and the training and the tools work for you rather than you ever explaining the comp plan. You should never have to explain the comp plan because people who know the comp plan better than you and I ever will ever understand it, explain it better anyway, it's already done. Why in the world would you explain the comp plan, right? So teach that single mom to be mindful of her time by you being mindful of your time. And like I said, if you're sitting there at her beck and call because you care, because you care, if you really care, you would do what's in her best interest and that is to do what's duplicatable for her to have the greatest success, which is to teach her how to use the tools by putting her through that system herself. Okay, so now she doesn't have to be superhuman, right? She doesn't have to be superhuman to make this business work success successfully for her as well. So caring, caring about that person's success isn't about mother henning. It isn't about being available to answer every single question. It's about showing them the system, showing them the tools, putting your arms around them, being there to get them started, but putting them through the process and having them report back to you, okay? So, hope it was helpful. If it was, shout it out. I would love to know that too. Uh, all right, guys, have a great day. Love to all.